What's good, YouTube? Today we'll be explaining the evolution of the dolphin to you. My name is Asa. I'm Reagan. And I'm Sarah. All right. So without further ado, let's get started. So before we get into the evolutionary line of the dolphin, we think understanding the modern dolphin is critical to understanding how the animal evolved. Dolphins are aquatic mammals. Many live in saltwater habitats, but some live in freshwater habitats like rivers, lakes, or other small uh, small ponds as well. Um, they also live 50 to 100 feet below the surface of the water on average, and their diets mainly consist of crustaceans and other fish. And also, just like any other mammal, they have to breathe air. They do this through their blowhole on the on the dorsal side of the of their bodies by coming up to the surface and inhaling air through it and exhaling carbon dioxide through it as well. Fifty million years ago, the Pachycetus was found in the Middle East in the marshland bordering the ocean. They fed on small fish and were a part of a species called erectiles. They are similar to modern deer, sheep, cattle, and pigs. In this point of evolutionary history, <laughs> dolphins were known as protocytids. 45 million years ago. They were well adapted to aquatic life and they only went on land to reproduce and take care of young offspring. They lost their hair and started developing the ability to hear underwater, nasal clefts, and blubber. They developed nasal plugs to keep water out of their airway. Following this, dolphins were known as dorphidotids 40 million years ago. At this point in their evolution, their hip bones detached from their spinal cords and their last few vertebrae flattened. This helped them swim through water more efficiently because less drag would have been created while they were swimming. Similar to modern day dolphins, the squalodontid was alive 33 million years ago. They had the modern they had the body of a modern toothed whale and developed echolocation as well as a development in underwater hearing. The Kentrintidoid dolphin existed 15 million years ago. It, is clo it closely resembles the modern dolphin, as well as 80 different species that developed out of this type of dolphin. Now we have reached the modern dolphin that we see today. Delphinidae is the name of the dolphin species and contains 36 families inside of this. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> I am so proud of myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so like she said, there's 36 families and the fam the whole species name is Delphinidae and that's today's modern day dolphin. So now that we're familiar with the evolutionary line, here are the main differences between the ancestral and the modern dolphin. So modern dolphins evolve the ability to communicate, just like shown before, um, uh, the ability to communicate underwater through high-pitched sound waves and clicking noises which can be used to warn against danger, can show where food is, and also can be used to locate other dolphins or other things as well, um, which the dolphin's ancestors could not do, like the Pachycetus, because it was a land animal. Um, also, the modern dolphin evolved to have uh, fins instead of hind legs, and this is so that they could swim through the water faster and get to their prey faster as well. Um, that way they would be able to get their food and survive better and be able to have a better chance to reproduce. Um, and they've also become purely water-dwelling uh, animals as opposed to the Pachycetus being a land and water animal. Um, so that way they can stay in, their, in the area where their food is most prevalent. And they also went from having fur to having blubber. That way they could stay warm underwater and not die of hypothermia because they are warm-blooded since they're mammals. Um, so why did these things occur? Um, basically, allows, like I said, for better hunting in the aquatic environment. Um, so that way they can swim faster and get to their food faster. Um, faster swimming as well, and the pinholes allow for better hearing underwater, and that's how they hear the high-pitched noises that we can't hear unless we use machines. Um, so what currently is endangering the dolphins, or what, what are the problems that they face? They face whaling, which is basically what it sounds like, except it's for dolphins because they're closer related to the whale as well. They usually try to kill them for their blubber or for their meat, whalers do. And it's really sad. Um, also, toxic contamination from oil spills and other human waste and plastic in the water is, ca is causing dolphins to slowly become in danger. Habitat, the habitat degradation, like I said before, with the plastic 
it's slowly starting to degrade the dolphin's environment because they're starting to eat the plastic mistakenly sometimes and that causes them to die because they can't digest the plastic. And also entanglement and like just left out fishing gear as well. It's kind of the same problem as the plastic where they get entangled and they can't uh, come undone and they can't come up to the surface and they end up drowning. And what are some of the actions that the dolphins actually are taking right now to benefit their survival? Well, the larger males roam on the periphery of their pod because dolphins tend to travel in pods and keep their young and the females in the center of the pod. That way they have the least amount of chance of getting attacked. Um, and the large males, they surround the area and they will echolocate predators, um, prey. That way they can, the pod can travel to that and either defend themselves or eat their food. Um, they also uh, alert other pod members to injure dolphins. That way they can provide aid to them and help them heal and recover faster. And they also uh, explore objects suspected of being harmful as well. Like, especially like when they get towards the depths where they can't see as well, they will use echolocution to make sure that an object is either benign or malignant. Okay, and then these are our citations that we use to make this presentation. And thanks for listening to Reagan laugh the whole time. <laughs> Goodbye. How do you stop it? <laughs> dead. Did I? No, it's still going. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, gosh. Now it's stopped.